Oh, that's going to be annoying. <laughs> hello, hello. I'm still getting a few things set up. I had an 8.30 appointment this morning, so just getting back home, trying to get things set up. Hey, Robert, how are you? So, trying to get it all organized. So I have a poster board here. There's something sticky on it. That's going to be super annoying. So I got to move this out of the way. And let me flip the poster board over. Because that would be super annoying. There was something sticky. That was weird. The new poster board too. <laughs> like brand new. How are you doing, Robert? Are you getting, you know, after vacation, it's always, it takes me a while to rest up and get back into the normal swing of things. Are you getting back to regular at home life? And with little ones, it takes a little bit to get them back in their routine too. That's usually the main thing. So this is a nine inch by 13 inch tile. I did on a live stream a couple weeks ago. So I'm gonna move that out of the way. I have a 10 inch canvas here, but I'm actually gonna move that out of the way too. And what I have here is two, they're all taped up right now, but they're um, like little trinket boxes or just little jewelry type boxes, or you can put really anything in them. But that's what I'm going to pour to start off with. I'm going to bend my things to make them level. Okay. Oh, you got a kitty yesterday. Awesome. So is that your guys' first pet for Liberty? For Liberty? Uh, do you guys have any other pets? I don't know if you've, I don't think I've heard you mention uh, other pets. Dan, hi, welcome. How are you doing? I'm just getting ready. This is a like a trinket box, but I have it all taped up so because I'll paint the sides. And now I just want to get the top uh, poured on. So I'm gathering up some uh, browns and some, uh, a little bit of gold, I'm thinking, for the first one. Browns, blues, and gold, actually. Oh, so, yeah, you, you after, you know, losing your dogs last year, wait a year, kind of, and then you guys got one. So I bet Liberty is super excited. Did you get a kitten? Oh, or a full-size dog, or a full-size kitty. Full-size kitty, a grown kitty. I don't know why I said full-size. <laughs> yeah, it took a year to heal. That's what I was thinking. Oh, hey, H7, how are you doing? How was your weekend? How was everyone's weekend? I'm getting ready to throw a little bit of... Um, blues and browns and a little bit of gold this is going to be this is like a I don't know a jewelry box little trinket box I don't know what you would call it well that seems thick she's a grown kitty awesome That's always fun. Just layering in some blues, brown. I don't know why that hole seems like it's clogged or something. Let me see. 
And of course, I moved everything over in front of the window over by the modem, but I didn't grab everything I need. I'm looking at different stuff going, oh, I forgot that. I didn't grab a skewer in case it's clogged. All right. All right, let me just wipe my hands off. We had a busy weekend here visiting with family from out of town. And, you know, when family come from out of town, one of the first places everybody we usually take people is Mount St. Helens. So um, we, of course, had to make the trip up to the mountain and go up and see Mount St. Helens. Uh, what in your guys' areas, if you guys have family that comes from out of town, is there like a local attraction, a local um, thing? That, where, where would you take in your town what, or your area? Do you guys have like for us, you know, it's usually Mount St. Helens, the Columbia River Gorge, or even like um, over to Portland, we usually go over there. So where do you guys, do you guys have a go-to place that maybe you guys um, take relatives to show your area? I just think it needed a little bit more like interest right there, a little bit more something. So that's why I just put that ribbon across there. But do you guys know about Mount St. Helens? Uh, you know, I, I always take it for granted that we, you know, because we are right at the base of Mount St. Helens, which that's the mountain that erupted in 1980 and it killed a lot of people and there was a lot of devastation in our area. And it completely changed a lot of the landscape around here because of the lava flow and stuff and mainly the mud flow. So, uh, that's a big one around here. Ooh, Acadia National Park. I want to go there so bad. Pikes Peak or Royal Gorge or Cripple Creek. Yes, those are awesome. See, now I want to come visit you guys so you guys can show me your area. But yeah, so H7, you know about Mount St. Helens. Now, my stepfather was on the mountain the day that the mountain blew, he was a, um, he planted trees up there. And so he was on the mountain the day that it blew and he's been in several magazines and he had a camera with him that day. So he got pictures and everything. So, um, but just a moment, guys, one thing that I did not grab when I came over here to my area, I didn't grab my torch. So I need to grab my torch so I can give this one a quick little torch. It'll take me two seconds. I just have to go over about 10 feet. Well, probably 15 feet. <laughs> All right, we got the fire. We got the torch. We're in business now. So, yeah, I live like at the base of Mount St. Helens. So when people come from out of town, that's a big thing we do. So that was yesterday. And unfortunately, the first couple of days the family was here from out of town, the uh, mountain, uh, you couldn't see it was all overcast. So we were really hoping we would get some time where it wouldn't be so overcast. And thankfully, then it did clear up yesterday. Not completely, but enough to see the mountain. All right, so I also have these shaped little trinket boxes. Now I've taped every, well, actually Mike helped me tape everything up. And so I just pour on the top and then I'll paint the sides. And these are the perfect size for like a gift card and stuff like that. So, <clears throat> excuse me, I couldn't talk there for a quick second. Um, so I'm gonna actually pour this in here with that same, um, the same cup because I still had kept some aside. Oh, Mount St. Helens rained ash for weeks in Colorado. Uh, 
lucky for me, I was in New Mexico when the mountain blew. Oh, yeah. So um, the where we live is just uh, like southeast of the mountain, kind of just south, pretty much, but kind of east. And we had ash. I mean, we had like feet of ash here in like right where I live now. <coughs> Yes, there's a huge crater at the peak, uh, H7. Uh, I will, I have good pictures. Um, I will get some pictures. Just a second. Oh, I don't think I have them right here, right by me. But um, I'll show you guys awesome pictures one day. Um, but yeah, we live right, I mean, like at the base of the mountain. I wonder if I can see it today. No, we can't see it. Uh, it's too cloudy today. I'll have to go live one day, like, because I wonder how much data going live, like, would take off my phone, because I just have a prepaid one, but I should go live, like, right sitting where you guys could see a view of it. Earth popped is it? Oh, yeah, it, it was powerful. It was. And there was like the um, local legend guy that he ran a like snow lodge or like a ski lodge up there. And before the mountain blew in the 70s, 60s and 70s. Uh, and he was an elderly man. And when the mountain was getting ready to blow, they, you know, evacuated everybody. And they told him he had to go. His name was Harry Truman. And uh he did not go. He stayed on the mountain and he he passed away with when the mountain blew, but he refused to leave. And there was big news. Uh, people went up there and because, you know, they had a warning that it was going to blow. It wasn't like a surprise. They definitely had warning, but there were still lots of people on the mountain that day. Hey, Alicia, how are you doing? Welcome. I'm just getting ready. This is just a little um, like gift box. I'm getting ready to pour on the top, but I'm trying to get this to lay flat. So then it, okay, that's better. So I have kind of some gold and some blues. I'm actually going to add just a little more gold in there. Uh, and I'm going to pour it right here. Yes, it's good to, I'm so glad you came in. It's good to have you in the chat too. What have you been up to? How was your weekend? Oh, darn it. I wish I had something. Let me look. Okay, I've got this little nail. And I dropped the little nail. There is a little something right here. I got to get it. See? I could see it. That's so gross. Now I got to fix that area. So, yeah, I was just telling everybody that um, I live right near Mount St. Helens in Washington State. So we have family here from out of town. So that's what we went and took them to the mountain. And, and actually, my mom is taking them up the gorge today. They're going to go see Bonneville Dam and our local attractions. <laughs> But I live in a very beautiful area. I love where I live. Just trying to get this corner fixed up, guys. Make sure I have it on every, everywhere. Oh, good. You had a good weekend. You and hubby had a good time. That's always good. I want a little more up here on this one in this area. So, all right, two done. And now I'm going to do the same thing. I have this one, and then I have a, another one that size. So, I'm going to do the same thing one cup, fill it up, and So 
So this one's going to be kind of purples and turquoise. And ultramarine blue. And some white. And I think, so this is called cobalt, but it is not dark, like, it's not a bright, brilliant blue like usual cobalt. So this, um, I'm going to, uh, it's more like a periwinkle, but I think it'll go good with these purples. Yeah, I like the emojis, the peaceful. That's awesome. I'll probably have to give this just a tiny bit of a stir because it's very um, certain colors. It kind of got layered in there. I did a beautiful tree ring pour uh, last night and that video, I'll try to get it edited and get that video out later today. All right, I think I'll put just a little more of this lighter. Fun Fuchsia, I think was the name of that one. I like emojis now. I used to get very frustrated by emojis. I had just an older stupid phone. And so on my phone, when people would send me a text with like emojis on it, I wouldn't see emojis. I would see boxes and that's all I would see. So I hated emojis because I was so frustrated because I couldn't actually see them on my phone. But then I upgraded phones and now I can see them. So they're not quite so frustrating and I enjoy them now. All right, I'm going to pour this, about half this on here. And then we'll use the other half for the smaller box. I've got lots of exciting things I'm working on. Lots of exciting art uh, cells I'm signing up for. You know, this is the time of the year where I start getting all my whole schedule filled for the holiday season. So I'm trying to find, um, I only have a couple more weekends left during the whole holiday season to even fill. I've filled almost all my calendar. And so I've got lots of exciting things coming. And um, so this will be my third year selling my art at bazaars. I, um, for years, sold my cookie mixes. And so I feel like I now know which uh, sales are the successful ones, get lots of traffic. And so I feel like I really know which ones to sign up for. So it's exciting this year to start getting right. Cause this, I know it's just June, but it's time to start making all the art for the fall season. Okay. So I don't know if you guys have watched this one as we've kind of chatted, a lot of it has fallen down the sides. That's the problem with those beveled edges. They kind of, it starts tipping right off. I want to make sure I have all the sides too. Um, so yeah, I, I'm super excited. There's a few things I can't even, there's a couple of things happening in October for me with my art, but I cannot talk about yet. So I, I'm, I've got a lot of things in the works right now though. So I'm super, super excited. And that's been all happening this past week. 
Yes, yes, that's a great thing. So what do you guys guys have going on today? What kind of projects are you guys working on? Or what do you guys have all happening? Oh, and then I have another question I was going to ask you guys because I was curious. So I'm curious for those of you that have channels, do you tell your friends and family that you like tell all your family that you have a channel and stuff? I actually have not. Well, I mean, of course, my husband and my my super close family, you know, living in the home, they know, of course. But I have not told like, much of my other fam, my extended family or any of my friends really, um, that I have a channel or that I'm doing YouTube. And so this weekend I did tell my aunt and my mom and we talked about it and stuff. So now they're watching my videos. So now it's kind of interesting. It's, uh, you know, I didn't have any family watching before. So now I feel like I'm like, oh, they could be watching my live. <laughs> Yeah, these little, these are um, little like trinket boxes and things like that. So um, that's, I get them ready for different sales and they sell pretty good. And they sell pretty good on Etsy too. Um, you're rigging up and controlling a puppet of John Oliver for animation purposes. Well, that sounds exciting. So are you going to do a video? Or are you on some animation? That, that sounds pretty exciting. That sounds awesome. That's a pretty cool project. Oh, you had to cancel an um, appointment. You were, pan you know, that, that happens to me a lot. I, I, I hear you there. I have horrible panic attacks, and especially for going places, appointments, and stuff like that. I had an appointment at 8.30 this morning. That's why I was kind of on a little bit late today. But um, I understand you there, Alicia. I I often, and this, this appointment that was at 8.30 this morning, we had to go to because we had um, canceled it three times. So we couldn't cancel it anymore. So um, I understand that one. Yes, I do. Hey, Katie, Crafty Ladybug, welcome. How are you doing? My internet fame. <laughs> no internet fame, but yeah, I told them I was doing YouTube and making videos and such. So, uh, and they watched a few and... So that was interesting. Oh, thank you, Sam. Thank you. It's a work in progress. Well, everything's a work in progress. So I'm sure you get it. You're pretty clever with all that sort of stuff. I'm sure you'll get the animation all figured out. Everything is a work in progress. Everyone you know knows about your channels, but not everyone is on YouTube. Awesome. Yeah, I've only told a few people. I haven't told many friends at all. Um, like, I haven't put it on my personal Facebook or anything like that. And I often think I should because, you know, I probably would get a lot more views and stuff. But I don't know. I, I Someday I will. But I, I started to. I've told family now. So, all right, this is a 10 by 10 canvas, and um, I've got all kinds of things to paint here, just like interesting things today. So this is a 10 by 10 canvas. I got a whole bunch of, or not 10 by 10, 8 by 8. So which 8 by 8 is a new size for me. So I'm kind of excited to do 8 by 8. So um, I'm just going to do a dirty pour with those same colors. Actually, what I'm going to do, this one that I just poured, it's like running, it's unlevel and it's running off the side. I need to take it off there. 
put it over here. That works better. It's way more level over there. Oh, Alicia, yeah, you had a you had supposed to go with a friend and stuff. Oh, it, I'm sure they understand. I'm sure they understand. Life happens. You had a lot going on. I'm sure if you just explain, and if they're a good friend, they'll completely understand. And hopefully, you can make it for another time to visit with your friend. Okay, guys, we're just doing the same colors we just did. And this is going to be a dirty pour on this 8x8 with those same colors. Just layering those in there. I've got neon purple there. Ultramarine blue. John Marco Simon. Hey, welcome. Not sure if I recognize that one. Is this your first time in? Welcome. How are you doing? Yeah, though, if they're a good friend, they'll understand. And I mean, everybody has that happen. Everybody gets busy and has life happening. So I'm sure it's okay and they'll understand. Okay, just a little bit more paint in here and we have plenty of paint. Okay, plenty, plenty. Oh, you're waiting on a webcam and then you're wanting to use the roulette one? Is that what you were going to do with your mixed media? You know, uh, have you watched people with the popsicle sticks? Here, let me get this over where you guys can even see it better. There. See, I got to pay attention and look up and see what you guys can actually see. Yeah, um, you could do it because I did it when I first started. I did it with popsicle sticks. All right, I'm going to torch before I tilt on this one today. But you got a webcam coming? That's awesome. Yeah, I was so excited when I got my webcam that... I had to save up for it. Now I'm saving up for a couple of other things. I want to save up for a air compressor for like um, airbrushing, but I'm going to use it here with the pouring. I want to get an air compressor, a little tiny like one that they use for airbrushing, air compressor. And then I also want new lighting. So, yeah. What kind of webcam are you getting? Oh, my gosh. Trying to pay attention to the chat, trying to pay attention. I almost... Okay, just a second. I'm getting it all over. Yes, it is making sales fast. Um, the only one that had uh, uh, silicone in it was the um, darker purple and the ultramarine blue. 
So let me just get a little bit here on this edge. But that's the only two that had silicone in it. But I've noticed if I put the silicone in certain blues, it really, they tend to, the certain blues really tend to sell up like even more than just any other of the colors that I put silicone in. I'm trying to get kind of, get to go back this way. There. All right. Your plate is bigger your eyes yes that happens to me too but I, a lot of times i'll put it in the fridge and have it later leftovers Oh, you found one on eBay. Wow. Yeah. That's that's a pretty good deal. Wow. All right, guys. I'm going to set this one aside. And I've got a couple more. We're going to do in those same colors. So I have, let me look, I'm trying to look around me to figure out which is the easiest. Okay, I'll put this one aside here. And then I have done them before. Push down on this to try to get it to level out. So I think you guys have seen me do these before, but it's a three-drawered tabletop dresser. Well, I've got them all taped up and ready to go. And I'm going to do one in those same colors I just did. And then I have a second tabletop dresser. And I need to do it in pink. So let me get these out of the way a bit so I can get it turned around a little so we can get it the right way in the frame. Okay. Now I need to do, I need to just move these ones that I first did completely out of our way. Okay, just a moment, guys. I'm going to get these moved right out of the way. All right. There, then I'll have a little bit more room to work. Those were starting to get in the way. Okay, so this is just, a, I don't know, there's some of them on my Etsy, you can see them that I've done, but it's a little three-drawered tabletop little dresser. People use them for jewelry boxes and such. So we're going to pour on that. Yeah, Crafty Lady, but Katie, she buys um, a lot of, she does the diamond painting, and she buys a lot of her diamond painting from over in China. I've bought a lot of rubber stamps from really, really, really cheap. Um, I've bought a lot of stuff from over in Chi over at China, and it's been amazing deals. Um, sometimes it takes forever for the item to arrive, but as long as you're willing to be patient and wait for it to arrive, then usually, yeah, I've gotten some pretty good deals. And I know um, Crafty Ladybug, she has as well. So instead of white, I put just my lightest, really light lavender purple. And so I'm going to not have the white and just have a light lavender purple because the sides and the front of this um, little... Um, dresser thing are going to be that light lavender purple. So I put that in there instead of the white. Well, yeah. Uh, so 
sorry. And um, you've got some washi tape and stamps and dyes and stuff. Yeah, I've seen some of your hauls. Um, I think you had bought it on Wish. I'm not sure. Uh, I've seen a couple of your videos where you were showing some dyes that you got, and those worked out great. That's pretty awesome. So I have to make sure I get quite a bit layered in here because I'm going to use the same cup to do the top of the dresser and all three drawers. If I do big, thick layers of a bunch of the same color, then one of the drawers maybe would end up with all that color. Or So I have to do just little bits all throughout. Try and make sure I have all the colors. Yes, it takes forever. You got to make sure that you don't forget what you were even planning to make with it. I've had that happen. Yeah, wish you guys were up just a little bit higher. I'm sorry it's quite so close for you. But um, I've done quite a few of these dressers, actually. I love them. They turn out really pretty. Okay, guys, I'm going to put just a little bit more to get that neon purple to break up a little. It's going to overflow on me if I put much more, but I had just a bunch of neon purple right there. So what I'm going to do is just like an X across. All right. All right, so I'm going to get the top done first, and I'm sorry, it's real up close to you guys. Okay. The one thing is I've got tons of neon purple here and not so much neon purple there, but it'll look, it'll be fine. I'll make it work. Okay, guys, I'm concentrating on this for a second. So I'm not paying attention to the chat for a quick second because this is for an order. I got to make sure I get this right. Got to really pay attention to what I'm doing for this one. Okay. I got to wipe the side a little bit because the gravity of it coming down will pull it further. All right. Yeah, I sell these ones pretty good. Um, unfortunately, I was getting them. Looks like they're discontinuing them. They discontinued the one that I get that's a jewelry box with the mirror. I went to get some more of those last night or yesterday. And they've discontinued them. So um, these sell really good. And I love them. And I hope that... They won't quit selling them because that'll be huge. Okay, a little bit of neon purple popping out on these, so that'll be perfect. I want some neon purple to kind of come out because I got quite a bit across the top there. Ooh, got to make sure I get the knob here. hard to do these a uh, little bit smaller dresser things with uh, gloves on. I'm not used to doing them with gloves on. It's a little tricky. All right. Make sure I have everything level. 
Thank you. Thank you. Give it a quick little bit of a torch. Sorry, I just bumped the bumped the camera a bit. Got to be careful not get my torch too close to my camera. That would be a tragedy. All right. And then I have one more thing I want to do in that color combination. And then we're going to change to a different color combination. Just one more thing with these ones. Yeah, a little bit of the neon purple starting to pop up. So that's what is needing to happen. Because I've got quite a bit of the neon purple on the top. And I always want the drawers and the top to kind of match. Yeah, they are wood. And it's about, I think it's a nine or 10 inch dresser. So it's a small, just little tabletop dresser. It might look, I think it's looking a lot bigger. Well, for instance, this is a popsicle stick. So these are about the length of a popsicle stick, the drawers. I have all the dimensions of them on my Etsy. I can't remember the exact dimensions. All right, I'm going to get that um, pushed to the side. And I'm going to grab, I'm going to show you my next little project of the same color combination that I'm going to do. Got to make sure I don't get the cord of the webcam in the paint. Okay, where's the cord going to go? Okay, there. I was trying to keep the cord out of the paint. All right, let me get, I've got more than one in there. Okay, so I have a cardboard, uh, it's the die, it was cut out die cut. And so I'm going to glitter this up and put this on after it's all dry and the pour. But I wanted to show you guys how perfectly this little uh, fairy will fit on there. And so I'm going to do it in those same color combination I just did that dresser in. And then once it's completely dry in a couple weeks I'll glitter the fairy up and I'll glue the fairy on but I just guys wanted to show you guys kind of what I was gonna do I accidentally set this fairy on this plaque when I was cleaning the other day and I thought wow that fairy is the perfect match and so I decided to actually make a project out of it it wasn't actually gonna be like this in the beginning but I thought gosh that really fits on there like perfectly so that's what I'm going to do now. So I'm going to set the fairy aside because she'll have to be glittered up in a couple weeks. <laughs> yeah, the dressers are small. They're like a jewelry box. A lot of people use them for a jewelry box. They're a tabletop dresser. But I could do the same type of deal on a regular old larger dresser. That would be totally doable. So I'm going to use the same cup. I still have a little bit in there, but I don't have too much in there. So I need to add a little. All right, that's probably plenty in there. That's just for good measure, a little bit more, just to make sure we have the color um, spread about evenly, kind of, somewhat. Okay, now that's plenty. All right, now I'm just going to do a dirty pour on these again. And so it's called a dirty pour because you're in a, you're putting all your colors in the same cup. And so that's a dirty cup and so that's kind of where the name dirty pour comes from try and make sure i have enough to make sure it goes down the side of the beveled edges just kind of getting the last little bit out here all right that should be enough and this will take a couple of weeks to dry, about three weeks. 
Uh, lately with the warmer weather, it's been taking about a little bit less. I've gotten away with about a little over two weeks, a couple of items. Um, but uh, once it's all dry, then I can put that fairy on and I think it'll be beautiful. And I might do the fairy in both glitter and color shift paint. Just trying to make sure I got enough going over the edges and trying to be a little bit more um, patient with it so I don't lose the structure of all the cells too much. Now back to the middle a little bit. All right, now I got to work on the sides just a little bit more. Let me get what's above off. Oh yeah, I've been decoupaging a bunch of stuff. Um, I um have been using my uh. Cricut to cut out the ones that I do um, where I get all the extra cups and I put it on the, um, I, I totally had, a, I got distracted. Sorry, guys. Sometimes it's hard to pay attention. I was getting text messages trying to, sorry, guys, I was distracted for a moment. Okay, so yes, you can decoupage it just fine. I've been um, using my die cut machine, my Cricut, to cut out the pieces that I do on the photo paper. And then decoupaging them on backgrounds. So, yeah, you totally can. That's, that's some new pieces that are coming up is a bunch of decoupaged pieces that I have been working on. Some undersea scenes, some um, kind of boho, uh, gypsy kind of look ones. And then I have one that's got kind of fantasy at uh, gnomes and uh, a Buddha and everything on the side. So I've been working on all kinds of decoupaged ones. But I don't use, do you use uh, Mod Podge? I, I don't, I, I'm assuming Mod Podge would work just fine. But I, I actually don't use Mod Podge. I use uh, matte medium, Liquitex matte medium. And that's what I'm getting to get it to kind of stick. But I'm sure the deck, uh, Mod Podge would work fine, too. Just making sure I have all the edges, guys. And I actually am going to put just a little more paint in here to get the edge here. Squirrel, yeah, totally. I was like totally like lost for a moment. I'm like, what am I even saying? Like in mid-sentence too. <laughs> it wasn't even in between thoughts. It was like mid-sentence. But uh, I was trying to read a text, read the chat and look at the painting all at the same time too much. <laughs> uh, but I use Liquitex Matte Medium. The Liquitex brand matte medium. Oh yeah, the um the water-based polyurethane um polycrylic is what I um then seal it when I'll go over it when I'm all done. I actually have a video where I talk about what I seal it with and all that, but um the the poly uh urethane, the water-based polyurethane is what I seal most all of my paintings with. All right, I think I've, oh, one tiny spot. Perfect. So I, oh, <laughs> I thought one tiny spot. Oh, no, over here there was a big spot. Okay, now we're good. Now we're good. But um, I think a fairy would look real nice on there. Actually, knowing a fairy's going on, maybe I should pull the main design a little bit closer to the edge. 
because a fairy would just cover it up right there. All right, I'm not gonna mess with it too much. Yes, uh, Alicia, that is one of the main reasons. So I live in Washington, so we have a lot of rain and the climate is very different here. And so that is one of the main reasons I do not use Mod Podge because Mod Podge will reactivate. Let me, oh my gosh, did I? I'm pretty sure I missed people coming in because, let me go up. Yes, I totally did. Foraging seeker, welcome. I'm not sure if you're still here. I totally am not ignoring you at all. Great to see you. I um, got a little distracted for a moment, but I see in the chat you stopped in. You said hello. I uh, hope you're still here, and I hope you're having a great day. Just moving a couple more projects over here, getting them ready to start next. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. Oh, you heat set with an iron. Okay. I'm not sure um, how much I can iron any of the paintings. I have not heat set anything. Um, but um, the problem, yeah, with uh, living in Northwest, is we will sometimes Mod Podge can reactivate and turn really soft and sticky. So this is another box. It opens up. It has a little clasp here and hinges, but I have it all taped off, ready to go. Better get a tray. They're a little bit easier to pry off once they're dry if it's a tray. So I have other little tiny boxes. I went and got, because I was going to get jewelry boxes, but they're not selling them, the ones with the mirror. So I'm actually going to pull up a couple of these cups. See how this just pulls right out of here, guys. And you can, um, like here is some really nice designs. I might pull that out and do something with. There's a few right here. So it just all comes out. And then I can check out what on these scraps can be turned into something. See, right there is kind of some pretty designs. So I'm just going to set this all aside, and I'll look at it later and see if it's trash or if it's something I can work with. Looks like there's a couple spots I could do something with. Yeah, those are what we call the skins. Oh, you're uh, listening to me babble on about <laughs> all kinds of stuff while you cook. Awesome. All right. So um, a couple of these, three of these are going to be done in pinks. And I'm not sure what this other one should be done in. I kind of need to do one of these in more of a blues and stuff, some bunch of pinks, because I try to have a variety of colors for my uh, Etsy and for my cells and stuff. So let me gather up my pinks here. And I'm going to throw in this uh, pearl color. And get another cup. I just reuse the same cups over and over again. They work great. Sometimes they get stuck together, but you just got to pry them apart and then you can reuse them. Oh, okay. Awesome foraging seeker. Yeah, I, I scrolled back up and I saw you had popped in and said hello. And I, I was distracted right at that moment. So sorry. So I'm so happy you're still here. Yeah, it's a beautiful day today. I was just talking about how we went out to see Mount St. Helens and uh, the mountain was barely visible, but we did get a good look at it yesterday. But here in Southwest Washington, sorry guys, I had to pry that apart and it made a lot of noise. Sorry about that. It was loud for you guys. But um, 
in southwest Washington, we're going to get rain the next couple of days. Are you going to get rain where you're at in Washington? Because that's what expected the next couple of days. Jinx seeker for you. That's what they're calling for for us this afternoon. It's supposed to start a couple days of rain. Yes, you're anxious to get them chores done and go outside and enjoy the sunny weather. So I'm curious if you're anxious to get out and enjoy it before your rain comes. Here, I'll show you my sealer. I have it right here by me. Um, I get it from Walmart and it's about $9. Well, I have it right here next to me. So let me see if I can tip it without it coming back open. And this is a um, 32 ounces. So this goes for a long, long time. But this is what I use. It's Menwax water-based polycrylic. And I get the clear semi-gloss or I actually like the clear gloss a little bit better. So if you get the clear gloss, It'll, it's like almost like resin. And I have a video about how I do it. And I use a foam brush and I just do like three or four really light coats of it. Yeah, it's at Home Depot. It's at Lowe's. It's at pretty much any uh, home improvement store or anywhere that has paint. It's a pretty um, common product. And I do three or four really light coats. And so I'll go one direction one time, let it dry, and then I'll go the other direction. And that kind of where we don't have a um, the brush strokes. But that's what I seal like 95% of my paintings with. And it's pretty, you can find it pretty much anywhere. It's a pretty common product. You don't know the weather forecast, but for now, there is sun. Yes, it is very fleeting in our region. Yes, you got to grab that sun when you can because you never know. It could be gone in minutes for sure. And it's been a weird, you know, it just doesn't feel like mid to kind of almost the end of June, almost July. It feels like, because Mike and I were, we've had a couple of conversations about this recently. It super, super feels like it's like April. It just isn't very warm. It isn't, I mean, we've had a couple of warm days, but not a ton. It's, it's very unseasonable here to this lately. I kind of feel like that I'm going to only do pink, this light pink white and pearl for this largest one and then i might add some more color for this um smaller ones so let me do the larger one first i don't know i kind of want to do make sure the tape is all the way sealed okay i think i'm gonna do a now, I started to second guess. I was thinking about doing a flip cup, but I think I'm not going to do. I'm just going to get the paint on there. So this, this has got that pearl color, so it'll have a nice sheen to it also. Yes, forage some of that yummy vitamin D we don't often get. We get that liquid sunshine. <laughs> Yes, I get that. Now you make me want to get out there. I might just have to end this live stream and get out there and enjoy the sun because the rain is coming this afternoon. No, I'm not going to, though. I, I have a few more things to paint, so uh, got to work. <laughs> All right. So this one is actually for an order. So I got to make sure I get those colors. And so for that order, she wanted pinks, white, and gold. So I got to get a little bit of gold in there for that one. 
And I, I believe this is going to be a, um, and I'm going to give her the option of either size because she, the lady that contacted me, it's going to be for the tooth fairy for, uh, to keep her daughter's teeth in. It's going to be a little tooth fairy box. So I have this smaller one, this size, and then I have this one, this size, and this is the size, the exact size to fit a gift card in. This one's a little bit taller, but a little bit uh, shorter here. So I'm going to give her the option of either one. So I'm going to paint them both with pink, white, and gold and let her decide which one she likes. But she wants it to put um, for her daughter's teeth after she loses them. After the, it's going to be her tooth fairy little spot. It's cute. I've done quite a few of those. I used to do a lot of tooth fairy um, little boxes. Yes, we need that sun, definitely, the vitamin D. And it's interesting how your whole body just isn't doesn't work right if you don't get enough sun. Yes, our bodies are amazing. They do just, uh, it amazes me. And honestly, you know, I had my first stroke at 25. And I don't want to get into talking about all that at all. But um that's when I really learned like how our bodies even worked. I didn't even care or pay attention before that. But I um, then I started, you know, really caring and paying attention to what our bodies need and how our bodies actually, you know, do work. And uh, it's just it's amazing. It's such an amazing thing. So this one, I'm not sure if you can see, it has some real subtle uh, lacing across the top. And so then this next one I did has really subtle gold lacing across the top. So that was a cool little. I maybe have a little too much gold in this last one. A lot of gold came out. Let me pour just a little bit of that gold off and bring some more pink into it. All right. Let me see if I can let you guys see those a little bit more. Yeah, I'm doing those um, nice soft pink. Um, I'm not sure if you were, uh, those are for, this is just for my cells. But these are going to let this lady decide. And it's going to be for a, um, for her little girl's teeth after she loses them. A little tooth fairy box, which is so sweet. All right, getting all those air bubbles popped. That's pretty well popped. Oh, you found it on eBay? Um, do you shop on Amazon much? Because Amazon might have it a little cheaper. I tend to find things that are like brand new like that, just like products like that cheaper on uh, Amazon. But hey, I mean, everybody has their preference and stuff. And this one, what else do I have here? I'm almost done with what I have even to paint here. Um, yeah, Kevin. So how's that going? The search for a new place. How's how's the search? You know, the getting the move going. Go, how's that going? That'll be exciting for you. All right, I'm going to go with that pearl still. But we're going to go kind of a mixture of colors here I have in mind. And then I have what's called honeysuckle pink. A little more of that pearl. Don't need much for the next one. It's very little. Uh, 
I don't like Amazon as a company, but I sold on Amazon for almost six years. I actually just recently in the last few months shut my Amazon shop down and I hate Amazon. <laughs> but yes, I tend to find like if you're looking for like products, like certain art supplies, certain um, like the sealer or Mod Podge or certain paint, I tend to find it cheaper on Amazon. But if you're looking for um, uh, used items, like vintage items, I tend to find them on uh, at eBay. But, uh, you know, I mean, just, just you could always double check. But yeah, I hate uh, Amazon too. And it may not be cheaper. You never know. Yeah, I hate Amazon. I hate certain companies. Like, I shop at Walmart all the time, but I hate Walmart. But in our little tiny town, Walmart sometimes is the only place we can find a lot of stuff. Um, like, that we're getting a Hobby Lobby soon. Uh, I hate Hobby Lobby, and I hate Hobby Lobby's um, just their personnel, their... HR department and you know some of their um, philosophy there, but I will more than likely go to Hobby Lobby and especially for their clearance. Hobby Lobby's clearance is always awesome. I wish that I had more money to where I could kind of make a dis better decisions on my money, and I really do try to. But sometimes you got to go where it's cheaper, even if it hurts your morals. <laughs> You've been doing your push-ups out there. Awesome. Oh, you tried to sell on Amazon? You couldn't do it? I sold books on Amazon for years and years. I actually still have. I'm trying to sell off my books. But at one time, I had several storage units of books. We're down to two storage units of books and about, I think there's about, I, I would calculate about eight to 9,000 books I have left. And that's about half of what I had at one time. So, um, yeah, I sold, that was my full-time business for quite some six years was selling books on Amazon. But now the art has taken over art and, uh, Mike's business and all kinds of stuff has really taken over all my time. So there's no time to sell the books anymore. So now I'm trying to sell them off. Oh, yeah, the endorphins that it, you release during exercise, and it's amazing, for sure. All right, guys, I only have one more thing to paint, and I don't have that much room to even get it over here. So let me see if I can find somewhere to put some of this other stuff so I have room. So I have another dresser is what I have left to paint. And I'm trying to decide. I was thinking about doing it the pinks. But now that I did that one, I really like that color. So now I'm thinking about doing that one. I'm not sure. Hey, Mike, how are you doing? Is it started to rain yet? I haven't looked out there. Oh, it looks like it could any minute. Oh, you found the half pint? Awesome, awesome. And a half pint goes a long ways. So a half pint will last you actually quite a while. Uh, they go a long, long ways. Okay, so I'm trying to decide, guys. I can't decide if I want to do. I have one more dresser. And I did the other one in purples, turquoise, the neon purple. And then I have one that's already done in light purples. 
I have one that's stained cherry on the side and has like purples and blues. So I'm trying to have a variety up my cells. I kind of think I need to have a pink one, but it's kind of boring. <laughs> I like this. That might be fun. So, yeah, we're only going to be on here a few more minutes. I just have the uh, one dresser more to paint. And that's it for today. But I do have another video coming out in a little bit. Oh, See, now I have my alarm starting that I had set for last week. Because <laughs> last week I had to leave at this time. But uh, I forgot to. Do you guys ever do your alarm for a certain event and then leave it and it goes off a week later at the same time? <laughs> Yeah, you think it's going to rain in about an hour? Yeah, it looks like it. Definitely coming this way. All right. So let me see if I can squish in this last dresser here. And there's two of the drawers. The third drawer. And now the dresser itself. All right. Let's get a couple more of these moved over. All right, so what I think I'm going to do is I am going to do pink, but I think I'm going to put a little bit of more color in there. So. Let's do the top first. Get that in. All right, now let's pry another cup apart from the other ones. You guys send us some of that beautiful Arizona sunshine you got? All right, that sounds good. Okay, now I gotta bend my cup back. All right, that'll work. Let's fill it up. Okay, so I'm going to do like pearl, the light, light pink. But I think I am going to put a little bit of the darker pink. And that looks like that's going to fall. Might not sit up there propped right. Let's put it right there. Now you guys can barely see it, but we'll put it right there. I'm going to put some of this real light blue. All right. So I finally found that, um, I finally asked the lady at the store uh, after looking for almost two months, that that real, real light blue I was using, it was actually called China blue, has been discontinued. So I'm gonna have to continue making my blue. Um, they've, they've discontinued even making the real, real light one I was using. The almost white blue that I was using was called China blue. It's always unfortunate when they discontinue a color. I've been using that on a lot of things too. So that was unfortunate. All right, you gotta get back to it. Well, the rain sounds like it's coming. I guess we'll see you in a little bit. Sorry, guys, it seems to be wanting to focus on that really bad. Let me move that for now. Yeah. Yeah, I love our climate, too. I might just put a little bit of this one in. Let's see what all I've put in here. I can't even remember. A little bit more of that blue. Yeah, 
It's mainly going to be pink, though. And that pearl color. God, I just wanted to keep coming out. I almost got the camera with it, too. <laughs> And a little bit of that brighter pink. And that should be enough. All right, let me move a little bit of these out of the way. All right, yes, you're making it the whole live stream. That's awesome be on here much longer so yeah it sounds like you'll be here the whole time thank you so much i appreciate it but i know you're super busy everyone i appreciate all of you guys because i know you guys all have super busy tons of stuff to do yeah katie says she misses this climate all right, and let me get that moved back here kind of in frame. I moved it out of frame because it was kind of trying to focus on it too much. Okay, trying to get a few of these. You know what I got to do real quick? I got to move some of these guys. I have no more room here. All right, so that should give me a little bit more elbow room. Not much, but a little bit. Trying to keep all the other ones I've done nice and level. Okay. Let's see how this works. All right. That should be plenty. Now I'm going to go ahead and put on the drawers. They're kind of out of frame, but I'll move them back into frame in just a moment. Having problems with them being level. Just a moment. Sorry, guys. Trying to get this all. All right. Let's get the top done first. And then I'll probably paint the sides of this one and the front and back all the light pink is the plan for this one. All right. Let's make sure I have all the edges. Okay. Show you guys a little bit more in frame. Now I'm going to push it on frame. I'll show you again in a minute when I torch it. But I need to make sure I get these before they slide off there being not level. All right. Need to grab my torch real quick. So there's one of the drawers. I'm going to get it moved over to the level spot. All right, let's try to get this one. Sorry, guys, in the chat, I've got to get this before it all slides off the side. And then I'll catch up with the chat here in just a moment, guys. All right, so there's one. Let me wipe off my hands. And I'll bring them a little bit closer so you can see. I'm going to give it a little bit of a torch. 
move this one a little more and then get the big one all right i'm glad i added those colors i wasn't sure was gonna just go with the white but i'm glad i added those in okay that should be good enough torching let me get these out of the way okay now i'll catch up with the chat yes you loved uh moss and the tiny wooden rolls as well as the huge woods Oh, you have some wild mushrooms just a half an hour from you. But yeah, the car is a huge issue. I hate that. I've been there, been there. I've done many a times without a car. So I understand. I totally understand. Hey, Angie, how are you doing? Welcome. Thank you, John. Oh, Shaggy Manes. Okay. Yeah, I, I I don't know. I honestly don't really like Shaggy Manes. Um, we tend to kind of pass them up. I, I hope that, other, that top dresser is going to drip down on. Let me get the drips real quick before it drips. Okay. Glad I looked up. It was just about to drip on that drawer. Um, thank you. Thank you, Alicia. Oh, yeah, you got to be careful of those carpenter ants. I have, um, Mike's had some jobs uh, with houses with carpenter ants, and yeah, they've caused a lot of destruction. You got to be careful. Oh, uh, aquarium terrascape. You know what? I have an old aquarium. I'm getting ready to set it all up a little. It's going to be like a fairy garden yeah, terrarium and I'm going to put a bunch of mosses and all kinds of stuff and then do it kind of fairy garden looking. So, yeah. Mossy stones and ferns. Oh, I love our Northwest ferns. Yes. Thank you, H7. Thank you. Thank you, Katie. They are so cute, though. They are cute until you see all the destruction they do, for sure. Yes. Oh, you love all mushrooms. I mean, I do enjoy mushrooms, but we have such a huge abundance of them. We can be a little bit pickier. And, yeah, I, I mean, enjoy all mushrooms. We just tend to pass up the shaggy manes because um, – we're usually looking for uh, turkey tails or chicken of the woods or the white chanterelles or um, some of those are some of our favorites, oyster mushrooms. Yes, fairy gardens do rock. I have a couple of fairy gardens. I will have to um, take some pictures of some of my, well, you guys can probably tell Whimsy Creek. I like the whimsical stuff. So I will have to um, take a picture of a couple of my fairy gardens I have set up. I have quite a few, actually, or a rather large one, I guess you could say, with little ones in between, you know, like a large fairy garden that has a bunch of little fairy gardens in it. So foraging seeker, do you, uh, here's a little trivia for you. Do you know the uh, scientific name for a robin? It's actual name. I think it's hilarious. The uh, actual name for a robin. I love robins. So I happen to know the scientific name for a robin. But, uh, um, yeah, they are cute, but they hurt with their little pinchers. Yes, expressing art and landscape. And we have a, so many fun things to express the art and landscape. Well, I guess every area really has their stuff. Where Because uh, Miss uh, uh, Crafty 
ladybug katie she lives in arizona and she's uh got a gorgeous 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 landscape where she's kind of expressed her art with her cactuses so i mean every area has their but definitely in this area we can definitely do that as well They have you marked as a member. Yes, they love you. They know where that food's coming from. Um, but back to the robin. So uh, the actual name for a robin is Turtus migratorius. So uh, yeah, I always thought that was kind of an interesting name. Turtus migrator migratorius. Little random trivia, random fact for you guys today. <laughs> Oh, yes, I used to play with all kinds of the ants, all kinds of bugs as a kid. Yes, I wasn't scared of the bugs at all. Play with them outside all the time. Your art is planned by the birds in your yard. That's awesome. Yes, Turtus migratorius. And I don't, I guess because of the tortoise is why I've always remembered that. It's kind of a funny, weird name for a bird. You never know what you're going to learn over in Whimsy's chat. <laughs> Random fact of the day. <laughs> but all right, guys, I have been on here an hour and 26 minutes. So I am getting ready to get off of here. I don't have anything left to paint for the day, but I am happy with the colors I chose for this one. It turned out beautiful. And I'll take that lightest pink. And when it's all nice and dry and I'll remove the uh, paper and the tape, I will paint that lightest pink on the sides of it. So I will take a picture of most of these and post them on my Instagram. I have been trying to do that each time. So if you guys want to see another, um, some closer up, better pictures of any of these, they'll be on my Instagram in an hour or two. But uh, yes, the open, oh my gosh. Okay, I'm not getting off here just late. I just yet, I got to say something about. It's so much... Uh, so cool how uh, much wildlife seems to open to friendship. Oh my gosh. So my stepfather, he, for some reason, you know how there's certain people that animals will just be attracted to. He can be uh, standing out in the yard and have hummingbirds just come land on him. Wild rabbits just come up to him. Um, all the deer in his area come right up to him. It's just amazing how certain people, tend to just really attract animals. And he is one of those type of people. He's just a super, super calming person, calm soul. And animals just tend to just, uh, just attracted to him. And it's amazing to see. So yeah, I definitely, it's amazing how some animals just want some friendship. You're not going to get naughty with that bird name. <laughs> Wildlife is the best teacher. So inspiring. Yes. Yes. Animal magnetism. He he has it big time. You know, I've seen people where they kind of do, you know. No, it's like an oh, amazing thing. So, yeah, it's crazy. But anyways, I just wanted to share that just for a minute because I had saw Foraging Seeker about, you know, wildlife being open to uh, friendship. And yeah big time with him. And I think everyone definitely, but everyone, you know, certain people just have that gift more than others. So, all right, guys. Well, on that note, you know, I think it's been an amazing conversation. Why don't you guys, why don't we all get out and enjoy the wildlife? Even if it's just for one minute, everybody, let's try to do whatever you can to go out and just Check out the inspiring nature and try to soak up some of that vitamin D if you happen to have any in, in your area right now. So I am going to get off of here. And if you can, take a moment to get outside today. All right, guys. Um, I've got another video coming out later today. And I will be back here live on Thursday. Unless I get another moment to do it another time, that would be amazing. But if not, I'll be here Thursday.
Yes. Awesome. Awesome. All right, guys. Have a wonderful day. All right. Go out and enjoy it if you can. All right, guys. Awesome. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I truly appreciate all of you. Okay. Awesome, guys. Talk to you later.